Uh, this morning, police have more questions in the disappearance of an Alabama woman who says she was kidnapped. Police searching for her. And then two days later, Carly Russell appeared at her home. Nick is here to piece together what investigators know now. Nick? Adrian, good morning. We've been following the story from the beginning. The 49-hour search ended with Carly's safe return home, and police revealed that there is no threat to the public because they do not believe Carly Russell was ever abducted. 911, where's your emergency? Hi, I am on Interstate 459, and there is a kid just walking by their cell. That is the voice of 25-year-old Carly Russell on the night of July 13th. Minutes later, she disappeared. Police found her wig, cell phone, purse, and Apple Watch near her car, but there was no sign of Carly or any child. Carly's 911 call remains the only report of a child on the interstate, despite numerous vehicles passing through the area at that time. For 49 hours, police, family, and friends searched tirelessly for Carly and the toddler. At 10.44 p.m. on July 15th, the Hoover 911 son receives a call from Carly's residence stating that she returned home on foot. When investigators questioned Carly, they immediately found inconsistencies with the story of her abduction. She stuttered when she got out of her vehicle to check on the child, a man came out of the trees and mumbled that he was checking on the baby. She claimed that the man then picked her up and she screamed. She stated he then made her go over a fence. She claims he then forced her into a car and the next thing she remembers is being in the trailer of an 18-wheeler. Carly then said she was able to escape briefly, only to be caught again. Eventually, she claimed she got away and ran through the woods back home. But police revealed several suspicious searches on Carly's phone in the days and hours leading up to her disappearance, including, do you have to pay for an Amber Alert? How to take money from a register without getting caught? Birmingham bus station, one-way ticket to Nashville, the movie Taken, maximum age for an Amber Alert. She was planning this the whole time. They need to know who aided her, what other crimes may have been committed, what lies did she tell, and where she was for that 49 hours that she was missing. Alabama attorney Eric Gooster says Carly could face a slew of charges for falsifying her story, and she could serve up to 50 years in prison if convicted. She wasn't running through the woods and was not held captive in a truck. So where was Carly? The real victims in this case are the friends and family who thought she was dead for three days. And the hundreds of thousands of people who donated money. Now, police tell News Nation this remains an active investigation. Adrian, over the weekend, I spoke with Carly's mother and father, Talitha and Carlos Russell, mm. about their daughter's disappearance. In light of the new information presented by police, I've reached out for an update, but have not heard back from the Russell family. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.